News Force Andrew Sip this afternoon live in Flushing, Queens at the city's newest field hospital. And the plans in the works, Andrew, for more. That's right, Stefan. And quite the transformation here at the National Tennis Center. Starting today, people who are sick with coronavirus are coming here to the tennis facility. The goal is to ease some of the burden on the epicenter in this area, Elmhurst Hospital. The city's newest field hospital is now open. Still tennis courts just a week ago, now filled with beds. Receiving the first 100 COVID patients today. Capacity is 470. First patients coming today and then they'll build out in the coming days. Another field hospital soon to open at Columbia University near Inwood's Allen Pavilion. Just want to thank you. The mayor thanking frontline workers. He says field hospitals help keep the health care system afloat as the pandemic peaks. All this as the staggering death toll has led to more burials on Hart Island, about 125 burials per week at this remote section of the Bronx. Because there's just been, unfortunately, more people passing away, including those who are not claimed by any family. That's what's been happening at Hart Island, but that's the only thing that's been happening at Hart Island. Meanwhile, Governor Cuomo said the hopes for immunity tests, proof you've had the coronavirus and can go back to work, proceeding slowly. State Department of Health can do 300 tests a day. By next Friday, they'll be able to do 1,000 tests, 2,000 tests the following week. That's great. Sounds like a lot, but 2,000 tests are still a drop in the bucket. As for frontline workers, many still using mass transit to get to their jobs. The MTA finally able to add some subway service in the Bronx and 100 extra buses. Today by phone, I spoke with MTA Chairman Pat Foy. The number of transit workers quarantined has, has come down from a high of 6,000 to uh, uh, 5,200. Uh, 1,800 uh, MTA employees have returned to work. Meanwhile, inside St. Barnabas Hospital, a doctor giving us an up-close look at the fight. Let's hope we reach that plateau at some point soon or we flatten the curve. That doctor telling us that for the moment, they're finally able to catch their breath just a little bit and move some of the patients from the ER up into the ICU. We're live at the Tennis Center in Queens. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.